Hello, and welcome back to another one of my playthroughs of some contest lows. So, yes, um, this time we are back with uh, low design contest number 30. And uh, just like um, some of the previous um, LDCs, we do have some licks entries. Uh, we had two of them, both of them by Geo. So I think it's pretty similar to the previous one as well, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, but yes, uh, this time though, um, the rules were picked by, um, among three people. Yeah, w one of which um, uh, was for me, and then the other two uh, were from Amani and Icho. And so, um, yes. Um, so, pretty much I, uh, I thought of the idea of, um, yeah, even though Amani won the previous contest, um, the, the previous LDC, I thought, yeah, maybe for the 30th, yeah, we should probably, like, uh, do something special. And so I thought, why not um, have three people uh, pick the rules instead, instead of the, just the winner. And so, yeah, um, it should agree to it, and so that's why, yeah, it, it is what it is. Yeah, three people three different people picked the rules this time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I win, I'm pretty much doing the same structure as the last time, or rather just the same format, in that, um, yeah, I'm recording the Lix, um solutions first, and then, yeah, after, afterwards I will be following up with the new Olympic entries. So, yes, uh, without all that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, yeah, so I need to go to um, number 30 here. So, uh, first up we have um, uh, Cycle de Decomposition by Geo. Yeah, this is for rule 2, and this is my rule set, where um, basically the rule here is only uh, digging destructive skills plus the bomber skill. And for Lixis, it's pretty similar, uh, just um, here it's the non-flinger bomber, yeah. So yes, um, let's go ahead and get into Geo's R2 here. <laughs> So, this one is actually a little bit deceivingly tough, yeah, just because of the fact that um, it, gets, it gets quite chaotic because of the fact that it uh, uses wrap here. And so we start with the entrance here, heading towards the, a trap here. So to avoid it, we go ahead and use the bomber. And then the rest of the low is just uh, the, si the six bashers that we are provided here. But I found a really easy way to uh, unfortunately contain the crowd and therefore, yeah, it's a really bad back route that uh, Geo was not able to like uh, release an update for yeah before he left um, uh, for vacation or whatever he's doing yeah for the next few months or so yeah because he informed the Lemmings community that he'll be on the road for the next two months so um, sadly he was not able to uh, release an update on time yeah only because of the fact that he only recently got to uh, watching all the replays that he received for this level or for his levels I should say yeah this is one of them for LTC number 30 so yeah, I bash here, and essentially, I just wait for air for all the Lixes to be in this area here. So, I found a very easy way to contain the crowd, which, therefore, yeah, there doesn't need to be any timing whatsoever needed. Yeah, because I had a suspicion that, yeah, the entire, the entire solution was meant to, uh, all rely on timing. So, yeah, here I have, um, the last, the last Lix that goes out to the left here, uh, bash on through. So that's three bashers used, so therefore that's half of the amount that we're provided here. Yeah, and then we need to go ahead and bash here in order to like create an opening here so that Alex can go here and bash on through to get to the exit. Yeah, and I do that. Oh yes, and then the um, Lix that uh, went on through, yeah, she went over here and fell down and splatted. Yeah, so the last Lix here, yeah, I use her to bash. So yeah, because of the opening, now she gets to go through here. And then finally, yeah, because she's so far ahead of the others, yeah, I go ahead and bash through the last obstacle to reach the exit. And that's it. So yeah, I found a really cheesy solution that allows you to uh, um, basically contain the, the, the entire uh, crowd until um, they all get into that area, and then you can just simply release them at will. Yeah. And then uh, basically there's no timing needed whatsoever. So yes. This is Geo's R2 here, so, <laughs> yeah, um, I guess I'm like the king of um, back routes when it comes to like Geo's levels for Licks or something. Yeah, because I managed to back route a couple of his levels um, in like um, some bit of uh, past um, LDCs as well. Yeah, and this happens to be the most recent one that I managed to uh, find a way to back route. So, sorry Geo. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
yeah, once again, this is Geo's R2, so we're going to go ahead and go to his R3 now. And for this one, the rule here was to uh, make a level with the, uh, I think it's called the standalone tile set in Lex. Yeah, because uh, in New Lemmix, we're supposed to create a uh, level using the uh, Lemmix 2 classic uh, tile set. Yeah, and then here we can only use the classic 8 skills. Um, and then, um, I don't, I think, uh, unlike Neil Lemmix though, yeah, there's like no restrictions on like the number of, um, uh, Lexes and whatnot. Yeah, because this is pretty close, as close as you can get, yeah, to the, uh, L2 Classic Tribe rule set, uh, in Neil Lemmix. But anyway, yeah, this is Geo's R3, yeah, and this is called Misaligned. Yeah, this is, should pretty much be intended mm -hmm. since there's really only one way to do it. And... Like the previous uh, level, yeah, this is also um, uses wrap as well. And yeah, so here you only have a miner and two blockers. And this one, yeah, it's pretty obvious what the solution is, but I needed to adjust the uh, position of the blocker a couple of times before I got it to work. So I found the right one to be right here. So this is where the first blocker is. So that turns the miner around. Uh, let me go ahead and time skip this. Yeah, so because of the wrap, um, uh, used in the low. Yeah, she hits the blocker and then turns again. Uh, however, the problem is that uh, if you allow the miner to keep on going, she will also destroy the exit uh, platform. And therefore, yeah, once she gets low enough, no one will be able to use the exit. And so, to pre prevent that from happening, that's why we have the other blocker. Yeah, now we use the other one to turn her around again. And in the process, she releases the first blocker. Yeah, that's important because we are only allowed one loss here. Yeah, which will be this blocker, which would not be able to get freed. So now she's going down, and she's heading towards the blocker. Yeah, which uh, causes her to turn again. And then, this is enough to make an opening to the exit. And yes, one of the things that you will come to like really hate in Licks is that, yeah, um, uh, Steel is extremely sensitive and strict. In that, like, it, if a miner's pickaxe hits Steel even slightly, yeah, that's enough to cancel the miner. But in Neo Lemmix, for example, she can still get under the steel and keep on going while getting interrupted. But in Lixto, yeah, you will probably come to hate that a lot. Yeah, when it comes to steel. Because it's very, very sensitive and strict. Yeah, when it comes to, like, canceling. And then, yeah. Need to go. Oh, no, no. The uh, nuke is already written into the replay there. So, therefore, there's no need for me to activate it. And I was even struggling to find where it was anyway. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, where's the nuke icon? But no. <laughs> I saw that the blocker got nuked, so it wasn't necessary. So, yes, there you go. That's all the Lick's entries are already. There's only two of them. And so, uh, with this, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video of uh, me showing you off my solutions to both of Geo's Lick's entries. And I'll see you all uh, next for the new Lemmix entries.